thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Mr. Chairman and, and Senator Capitol. Thank both of you for your leadership on this important issue, both in the last Congress and and uh, now in this one. Um, and thank all of the witnesses for your expert testimony and uh, your thoughtfulness today and for being with us today. Um, Commissioner Sheehan, I, I don't know if you know North Dakota's uh, commissioner, um, but we feel really blessed in North Dakota to have lured uh, away from uh, away from the mountains of Wyoming to the prairies of North Dakota, uh, Bill Panos, who's, who's doing a great job. And in every discussion I have with uh, Bill, he, of course, brings up an issue that has been alluded to a number of times today, and that is, of course, the formula. Um, but North Dakota, being uh, very rural, much like Wyoming, much like parts of your, your, some of these states that we're talking about today, I think every state has some part of it that's rural, but North Dakota is very rural. Um, could you elaborate a little bit on the importance, Commissioner, of, of the formula remaining the way it is, why it is so important for, for the entire system? to maintain this formula? Well, thank you for that question, Senator. And yes, I know um, the head of the DOT in North Dakota, Bill Panos, well, he's one of my colleagues at ASHTO. Um, the reason that states advocate strongly for formula funding is that provides predictability into the future. <clears throat> As we advance our projects, we wanna have certainty that the commitments that we're making to municipalities and counties, we can truly deliver on. In rural areas in particular, those formula dollars are being used each and every day to make lasting improvements in the infrastructure. Whether that's replacing deficient bridges, working to improve pavement condition, making safety improvements, or ensuring that our infrastructure is resilient to an increase in future uh, extreme weather. And so um, we as state DOTs continue to emphasize the need for that traditional funding. While, in addition, you might look at increasing some of the other programs um, that could benefit uh, communities more directly. We would not want to see those efforts move forward at the expense of the core program. Thank you for that. So along the lines of funding, and obviously a lot of the discussion here that takes place here deals with the funding, and there's never enough to do all the things we should do. However, um, one of the things is, uh, the other things, uh, Commissioner, that ASHTO has advocated for is a sustainable funding source. So th the Highway Trust Fund obviously being the main source um, for infrastructure development, surface transportation development. Um, you've advocated for that sustainable sustainability of that, and yet Governor Whitmer is understandably and appropriately proud of the work that um, the manufacturing sector is doing in creating more electric vehicles and hybrid vehicles, and of course, the, the, um, that ambition for that type of climate response and a sustainable formula or form, um, revenue stream obviously intersect and conflict at some point. Could I ask each of you, Governor Whitmer and um, Commissioner Sheehan, to, to talk about what a future funding source would look like in terms of um, the revenue stream, please? Maybe Governor Whitmer first. I'll start. Thank you, uh, Senator, for that question. Appreciate it. You know, I knew that eventually this conversation would go to this part, and I know that's also the hard, tough job that you all have ahead of you. Um, I know it's a long debated question of talking about the solvency of the Highway Trust Fund and how to pay for needed transportation investments. And I'm not here to answer the question on the federal gas tax. I can only speak from what I know. After decades of underinvestment in Michigan, um, the people of my state elected me. One of my big tasks that I heard all across the state in all 83 counties was to fix the damn roads. <laughs> and my team and I looked at all the options as we came in to improve the funding outlook in Michigan. There's no question we need predictable, sustainable, and sufficient uh, solution that is the best case scenario. When I took my solution to the legislature, we couldn't find common ground, and so I had to pivot and do bonding. Because we know that doing nothing is not an option. And as you know, uh, festering infrastructure problems get harder to tackle and get more expensive. And so um, I know that you are going to have this debate about where, how we prioritize this and, and make this a reality. And I look forward to that debate and happy to share any thoughts that we have from the ground of, of how we can improve the, the the, the tenor and the substance of that debate. 
Thank you. Commissioner Sheehan, do you have some thoughts? So, uh, Senator, thank you for the question. I, too, don't envy you um, the, the challenging um, work that you have ahead of you to, to identify a sustainable source of revenue for the Highway Trust Fund. We are having similar conversations at the state level, and our state legislature is hesitant to move towards a new source of revenue without understanding what direction the federal government might move in. But what I do know is that uh, since the last gas tax increase, um, our cost of doing business has continued to increase, and we have lost buying power over the last 28 years. And so we truly appreciate the efforts of the Congress to identify a sustainable solution. And when highway trust fund receipts have not kept pace with the investments that we need to make, and the fact that there has been other sources of revenue made available so that we could continue our programs, that's extremely um, important to states, and we appreciate uh, that continued uh, support for transportation investments. 